Yeah, so CAR T cell therapy, it is exciting. It is delivering re remissions, but it doesn't deliver remissions for everybody. In acute lymphoblastic leukemia, you see complete remissions in maybe 60 to 90% of patients. Lower than that for chronic lymphocytic leukemia and non-Hodgkin lymphoma, maybe 20 to 50% you see complete remissions. So it doesn't put everybody into remission. Sometimes the disease burden is just too great and the CAR T cell, they, they just can't fight. You know, you need billions of them. If you've got somebody with a heavy burden of cancer inside them, you need literally billions of T cells to fight that cancer. And sometimes you just don't generate enough T cells for them to have the effect that you want them to have. So for some patients, then they're not going into remission. It's having a marginal effect, if any effect at all. Um, and then you have the patients who do go into complete remission, but around half of them relapse. Generally in the first year or so, if you've, if you've survived for more than a year without relapse, then it's looking pretty good that you're going to be a long-term survivor, but around a half relapse within the first year. Many times it's because there are now cancer cells which don't have the CAR T cells target on their surface. And even if you were to add in more CAR T cells, it still wouldn't have an impact because the target has disappeared from the cancer cell surface. The cancer cells that are now multiplying in the person's body, they're not a target for those T cells. Other times it's because the CAR T cells were there and they were fighting and they were keeping the cancer under control, but now they're exhausted and they've started dying off and there's no longer enough CAR T cells to keep the cancer at bay. There it may be in future we can do repeat infusions. If the target is still on the surface of the cancer cell, then a repeat infusion might help you because you're replacing the T cells that have died off. Um, there are also ideas around CAR T cells that have a combined target. They're not just targeting the one thing on cancer cells, they're targeting two things on cancer cells with the idea that even if one of those targets disappears, maybe the other one will still be there and the CAR T cells can still operate. There are also ideas around combining CAR T cells with other treatments, such as the checkpoint inhibitors. Maybe the CAR T cells are there, maybe they're doing their best, but they're being suppressed. And then with a checkpoint inhibitor, you can give them an extra boost and persuade them to multiply once more and they will um, then destroy the cancer cells and bring the person into remission. So there are ideas for the future, but I think at the moment it's really important to communicate to patients that not everybody goes into remission, um, that particularly for chronic lymphocytic leukemia, for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, the remission rates are going to be lower than for acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and even if somebody does go into complete remission, around half of them uh, will relapse within a year or so and it's really important to to know that and to watch out for that and to communicate that to patients that it's not a given, it's not automatic that this, pa this treatment is going to, to cure them. It may be that it, it won't work at all, it may be that they do benefit but only for a period of time and I think it's important to tell that to patients that there are these significant limitations.